in this episode, Better Than Pro, my favorite cover, Stealthy Scorpion, Old Tech, Best Tech. Two surprises. Welcome to Thunder Show. In hopes of finding protection from enemy ground attack aircraft, many players attempt to hide in narrow streets of towns and cities. More experienced players tend to hide away in natural pockets of terrain or woods, but real pros use their enemies as cover. Distar is a real ace of this tactic, because he actually uses enemy aircraft as cover from rockets. That would be pretty hard to surpass, I imagine, but I hope someone will. For now, let's send Distar as Golden Eagles. Good job. Every tanker of War Thunder has a bunch of favorite camping spots, a particular bush or a rock that are occupied whenever possible. Games Majestic 2 has a spot like that at American Desert, but unlike most other cover, he is, is moving. The train car can be pushed off the rails and then dragged across the entire map, providing decent cover in the open. That's quite a trick, sir. A trick worthy of 5,000 Golden Eagles. Congratulations! Up next, we'll have a Master of Disguise. Out of a sizable column of enemy vehicles, not a single one could spot him before he could attack from behind and destroy that very column. But the cherry on the pie here is altogether different. You see, after the attack, he was destroyed, bombed by an ally. Looks like one must learn how to deceive just your enemies, not the allies. Kipper, here's your GEs, but be careful with the stealth technologies next time, okay? The venerable I-153 Chaika is armed to the teeth with best Soviet weapons. No, I don't mean its four Shkas machine guns, I'm talking about the mighty RS-82 rockets that can be successfully employed versus any type of target, on the ground or in the air. Walt brings us some proof for this statement. Not bad, Walt, not bad. Here's your award. Good job. Ditching unused bombs is a standard move by experienced pilots once they see an enemy fighter and must lighten up their aircraft to get a boost of speed. More speed means better energy and turning. But in the video sent to us by Peter Yujo, this unnamed drop served a very different purpose in the end. Those random bombs destroyed the very enemy that made Ryujo drop his bombs in the first place. Given the modest size of the bombs, that's a one in a million drop. A drop that brings forth 5,000 GEs for Yuju. You're lucky, man. Nice. 